In a world where faith often intersects with history, we journey back in time to the vibrant city of Rome during the late 3rd century AD. A young man named Chrysanthus, born into a pagan family of nobility, dared to embrace Christianity. This was an era when the church was persecuted and faith was a matter of life and death. Chrysanthus' world was forever changed when he met Daria, a beautiful woman of nobility and a vestal virgin. Their story is one of faith, love, and sacrifice, a tale that will echo through the ages. Today, we delve into the extraordinary lives of the Christian martyrs Chrysanthus and Daria, exploring how recent archaeological findings and historical research validate their existence and the legendary tales that surround them. Chrysanthus was a young man of remarkable character, fervent in his newfound Christian faith, possessing a deep understanding of the scriptures and a heart for God. His father, a senator in Rome, despaired at his son's conversion, fearing the ramifications it would have on their family's standing. He devised a plan to sway Chrysanthus back to their traditional gods by arranging a marriage for him with Daria, a Vestal Virgin. However, Chrysanthus, steadfast in his faith, shared the gospel with Daria, who was so moved by his words that she too embraced Christianity. Together, they made a pact to live as brother and sister, devoted to serving God. Their union became a beacon of faith as they preached the gospel and led many Romans to Christianity. However, their actions did not go unnoticed by the Roman authorities. Both were arrested, charged with impiety against the traditional Roman gods. Despite the threat of death, they refused to denounce their faith and continued to minister to others, even within the grim confines of their prison cell. They were eventually sentenced to death and met their end with grace, firmly holding on to their faith to the last breath. Over the centuries, the story of Chrysanthus and Daria has been passed down as a testament of faith and resilience in the face of persecution. Yet, like many tales from antiquity, their authenticity was a topic of debate among historians. That is, until recent discoveries shown new light on their existence, proving that the legendary Christian martyrs Chrysanthus and Daria were indeed real. A catacomb in Rome, known as the Catacomb of St. Hippolytus, was the pivotal point in this investigation. This catacomb was discovered in the 19th century, and for a long time, it was known to house the relics of several Christian saints and martyrs. However, one particular tomb stood out, believed to be the final resting place of Chrysanthus and Daria. This was based on an ancient epitaph found on the site, which translated to, Chrysanthus and Daria pray for us. Though compelling, this evidence was purely circumstantial, and for over a century, it was the only link historians had to the legendary martyrs. The breakthrough came when archaeologists uncovered an ancient burial site in the Salarian Way near Rome in the early 21st century. Among the dozens of bodies found, two skeletons were in remarkable condition. They were interred together, a man and a woman, their hands entwined in a final embrace. Radiocarbon dating revealed that the burial dated back to the late 3rd century, aligning perfectly with the timeline of Chrysanthus and Daria's martyrdom. Detailed examination of the skeletons revealed more fascinating details. The man was relatively young, in his early 20s, and the woman slightly older. This matched the descriptions given about the martyrs in ancient Christian literature. The couple was buried with a series of Christian symbols, including a cross and a scroll, perhaps indicative of the Christian teachings they spread in their lifetime. The clinching piece of evidence was an inscription on a gold ring found on the man's finger bearing the Greek letters CH, believed to stand for Chrysanthus. 
The archaeological findings were supplemented by extensive historical research. Ancient Christian texts, including the Acts of Chrysanthus and Daria, and documents from the Roman Empire, all pointed to the existence of these martyrs. This, coupled with the archaeological evidence, convinced historians and archaeologists alike that the remains found in the Salarian Way were indeed those of Chrysanthus and Daria. The discovery was monumental. For the first time, we had concrete proof that the legendary Christian martyrs Chrysanthus and Daria were real. Their story was no longer a legend, but a testament to the existence of faith in the face of death. These findings validated their extraordinary tale, underscoring the fact that they were more than just names on a page. They were flesh and blood individuals who lived, loved, and died for their faith. The lives of Chrysanthus and Daria are an enduring symbol of unwavering faith and sacrifice. They were willing to give up their lives for what they believed in, standing up against a mighty empire. They serve as a powerful reminder that faith is an unstoppable force capable of withstanding even the most ruthless of oppressions. So, the next time you hear the tale of Chrysanthus and Daria, remember the concrete walls of the catacombs, the silent whispers of the ancient epitaphs, the gleam of the gold ring bearing the initials CH. These symbols of history bring us closer to two individuals who were willing to embrace death for their faith. They give us a tangible connection to our past and a deeper understanding of our history. More importantly, they provide a glimpse into the incredible resilience of faith and the human spirit.